Welcome to this video from Economic Perspectives. I'm Peter Warburton, Director of Economic Perspectives. I'd like to talk about um, what some have called the uh, CapEx conundrum, um, the non-appearance of the recovery um, of fixed investment, uh, which is common to uh, the UK, uh, to Europe, and really to most uh, developed countries over the last four or five years. And the nature um, of this conundrum is that um, by 2010, um, it appeared that um, there were very favorable conditions for a resumption um, and recovery of capital spending, um, focusing mainly on um, the business sector, um, but uh, really encompassing the whole economy, the whole reflex of capital spending. So essentially, um, by degrees, um, capital spending in constant prices fell uh, around 20 to 25 percent um, in the UK, um, and um, similar degrees in most European countries um, except Germany. Um, and the expectation was that um, the bulk of that fall would be quickly remedied, uh, quickly recovered. Um, the grounds for believing that were um, the net rate of profitability of capital was high. Um, companies in, in the aggregate had um, a surplus um, of, um, of free cash. Um, it was also uh, the case that asset lives had been stretched by the uh, financial crisis and those assets had been um, left. Um, in place for longer than uh, they would normally have been, and that there would seem to be an urgency about a replacement cycle of capital equipment. Well, some of this happened. Some of this happened in commercial vehicles, some of it happened in car fleets, uh, and quite a lot happened really in technology and, and uh, computing. But very little has happened in the aggregate, and certainly in the heavier ends um, of plant and equipment, um, or indeed in buildings. So what's the explanation and why is it that four years on, the UK in particular um, has made virtually no progress in recovering this deficit? But I think that there are three um, contributing explanations and um, I'll just run through them briefly now. First of all, what we're learning about quantitative easing and uh, other expressions of long-term uh, asset purchase by central banks is that they don't convey the same message um, to the private sector as a cut in interest rates. Basically, um, QE seems to have a much more indifferent, um, in some cases almost negative impact on the reflex to invest. That it, it is viewed as an unsettling policy whose consequences are largely unknown. In other words, the uncertainty over future outcomes outweighs uh, the notional stimulus uh, of the policy. A second explanation is really uh, partly relating to the small and medium-sized enterprises, um, which had a very negative reaction to how they were treated by banks and other financial intermediaries um, after the, the uh, um, financial crisis broke in its uh, worst form in 2008 that um, many companies, it seems, have vowed not to trust the banks, not to use the banks uh, in the same way that they would have done to fund um, capital expenditures um, and have restricted their expansion by what they could finance internally through retained capital. So this, again, would be a restraining factor, one which we believe is um, waning in significance, uh, certainly in the UK at the moment. The final one is perhaps the most uh, significant and destructive, uh, which is that of um, easy credit conditions um, in the period, perhaps the five years before 2008, uh, contributing also to an over-accumulation of capital, um, uh, a misjudgment about how much capital, uh, physical capital, would be needed to produce output in the future. And if that's the case, um, and probably it's in the service sectors that we find that most clearly true, um, then it will be compensated by uh, a long phase of, um, of lower than usual investment 
um, as we, the companies seek to normalize their required capital. So the good news is that um, we're probably working our way through that phase, we're probably coming to the end of it now in the UK, and the prospect is that we will see some recovery, at least, in capital spending in 2014. Thus far, um, there is a recovery in manufacturing expenditures um, and in, um, in, in some uh, minor service sectors, um, but really we've yet to see a year in which um, all the main contributors to capital spending are uh, positive. So the conclusion is that um, there are some better explanations of why uh, capital spending didn't react um, to the favourable financial conditions and surplus cash flow. Um, we have a better understanding of that now, um, but I think we have also a greater sense now that maybe we've worked off um, that period of excess and uh, are ready to resume at least a, a modest upturn in capital spending. Thank you.